And I'm looking for a Sukuno. Sukuno. Yeah, Baron Rickvold. Isn't this his camp? You won't get nothing out of him. You must be Radzig's man. I heard he was supposed to send someone. Yes, Sir Radzig sent me as a guide. I'm Henry. I'm Jakey. And this here fella, we call the Stone. I can see why. What's up with him? Cat got his tongue? No. More like the dog got it. The executioner's dog. <laughs> when the executioner ripped it out of him. Anyway, you better come along with me. I'll introduce you to the other fellas. And the chief. These here are the Bearman brothers, Petter and Jan. They're a barrel of laughs, except when they're too drunk to string two words together. Like now. Don't get on the wrong side of them, though. When their blood is up, well, it ain't a pretty sight. Pleased to make your acquaintance, I'm sure. Never mind the fancy poses, Stefan! You're trying to kill the fucker, not teach him how to dance! And you, Dangler! Stand your ground! Don't let him lead you round by the nose! Sir? Well, sir, this is Henry. From Co... From Lord Kobler. Ah, it's about time Rads had got round to this. We need someone who knows their way round these parts. Leave off with the uh, bowing and curtsy. We don't hold with that tomfoolery here. Jakey! Where the hell are you sneaking off to? Go to the farm and get water. The lads are thirsty. Well, I went last time. And you'll go next time, you ungrateful pup. Get your ass moving. Snot nose brat. You pull them out of a pile of shit. And they thank you with back talk. Where were we? Oh yeah, we need a guide who knows these parts. So I hope I can rely on you, Herman. That's Henry. Right, as I said to Radzig, I don't want to carry any dead weight. We could find ourselves in some very tight situations where every sword counts. I know how to handle a sword, all right? I've heard a lot of fellas say that. They still ended up on the wrong end of one. <laughs> we'll find out. Stefan, take a break. Dangler. Let's find out what Harold here can do. Sure. No problem, Chief. <sighs> ah! Please, can we stop for a bit? My ass is aching, and I've such a thirst I could drink a moat dry. Same here. Now, what do you say, Chief? Not to worry. We'll re-choose it soon. We'll spend the night there. I heard they've got a peculiar priest there. <laughs> they say he drinks like the devil himself. <laughs> There's nothing strange about that. Every other man of the cloth is a swill pot. Or a lecher. Or both. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet. Listen. Nothing to fear. We would surround him. Manner of speaking. What's the matter? Brigands came. The menfolk fled and left us there. They started pillaging the place, drinking whatever they could find and smashing things. I ran off, but the other girls. Please, I beg you. Drinking, you say? I, sir. 
They rolled the casks into the courtyard and started swilling like pigs from a trough. Well, as our old cook used to say, if you want to make a proper goulash, you should soak the meat in ale for a while to soften it first. Ah, let them get well soaked and then go and chop them up. Good thinking, Chief. But what about the girls? Those men, they, they were... Ah, I'm sure your friends won't be getting nothing they ain't had before. Well, unless they be nuns. <laughs> <laughs> How do you think Sir Radzig will look if you let that happen? What will people say? <laughs> if I cared what people say, I wouldn't be a mercen. It's no skin off my nose. Well, I can tell you, Sir Radzig cares, and so do I. So we better ride there right now. Oh, all right. I hope your Radzig will take care of my funeral mass too. My sin-burdened soul will need a bit of a push to get through the gates of heaven. Don't worry. They won't be as drunk as you'd like, but they won't be entirely sober either. True enough. Let's do it then. Jakey, go and scout ahead. Don't want us running into any surprises. See if there's a good spot for us to camp. Right, Chief. What's the matter with Jakey? No back talk. I gave him a swig of snaps at supper. Perhaps it made a man of him overnight. All <laughs> <laughs> that boar piss of yours took away his will to live. Henry, I'm coming, brother. Sucker, catch the horses. Fuck. They're on the river bank. We have to get back to the bank quick before they cut us off. Zool's colours. It seems they want to parlay, sir. Parlay, eh? Right then. Let's parlay. God be with you, Sakuno. My respects, Sir Hagen. I don't believe I've had the pleasure since the siege of Lansenbach, wasn't it? An age ago, that was. In those days, we fought under the same banner. We did. And even today, we may yet part friends. After all, my quarrel is not with you, but with Kobila. The thing is... Your quarrel with Lord Kobila is my affair, since he tasked me with keeping order in his lands. And you, Hagen, you are disturbing that order. No offence, sir, but you are just a mercenary whose main concern is keeping order in his purse. My dispute with Radzig Kobila concerns a higher ideal. Kobila shamed my family over a trifling misdemeanor. He hanged my father, raised our castle to the ground, 
gave our property away to his family and cronies. And for that, I demand just retribution. But you don't have to stand in my way, Kuno. I'm well aware why you serve Ratzig. You owe him a favor. And from what I've heard, it's not the first time you've had to pay him back. It won't be the last either. The fact of the matter is, you fight Cobbler's battles for him, and you've little or nothing to show for it. If you accept my offer, on the other hand, you can ride away from here a rich man. What do you say, sir? Kuno, you can't do it. You're making a common mistake, Henry. There's a difference between what a man can't do and what he ought not to do. In this case, the difference is the size of Hagen's offer. Have you no honor at all? To sell yourself to the highest bidder? The only bidder. Radzig never offered me a groschen. Because you owe him a favor. And this is the third time I've had to pay him back. My conscience is clean. Hmm. Tell me, Kuno, what do you think makes a good mercenary? If I knew that, I'd have a marble palace in Florence. I'd sit all day on a golden throne drinking wine. But I suppose for a start, he should be skilled in warfare. Oh, that's how you see it. But what about those who enlist your service? What they value is loyalty and fulfilling your duty. A mercenary who turns after coin like a vein after the wind isn't worth his salt. An eloquent speech, but like I said, I've paid Radzig back quite enough. So if you don't mind, I'll take that pile of coin and fuck off. And then what? Do you think anyone will ever hire you again after they hear of this? With that much money, I won't have to worry about that for a while. Anyway, everyone will understand how things really stand. Do you really think Sir Radzig and others like him will share your interpretation of mercenary's honor? <laughs> Not a chance. Everyone will see you for the swindler and turncoat you are, and Sir Radzig and I will make damn sure you won't come out of this smelling of roses. Hmm. Are you threatening me? Call it what you like. Fine. It seems you have learned something after all. You'll stay, then? Obviously. It didn't seem so obvious to me. Come on now, Henry. Don't take offence. And let's go and deal with Hagen. It's true, Sir Hagen. This is not the first time I've paid Radzig back. Nor will it be the last. But then, he did save my neck from the noose. So I'll be long beholden to him. I'll make no bargain with you, but I will take your silver. <laughs> you would fight me? You're a damn fool. I've no wish to fight, but neither do you. Otherwise, you wouldn't have tried to buy me off. So it seems that we're evenly matched. Let's see who fortune favors. So be it. That's that. What now? I don't know about you, but I'll have to do some recruiting. Yeah. I'm sorry about your men. Can't be helped, lad. They knew what they were getting into. That's a mercenary's lot. Oh, I know, but you seemed like good companions. Aye, but a company like that doesn't last forever. I've buried enough men, let me tell you. You should go and report to Sir Radzig. That we won the day. Aye. I suppose I should. If there's anything else you want from us, we'll be at the encampment in a few more days. And then, God willing, we'll move on. Well, if I don't happen to see you again, good luck. <laughs>